This is my favorite things uh, from uh, the Sound of Music, Burgess and Hammerstein. Beautiful, beautiful song. It's in the key of E minor. Uh, so the notes in E minor would be uh, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C, D, and E. Right there's your E minor. And it turns out that E is the natural, the relative minor for another key, and that's for the key of G. This relative minor is always the sixth note of the major, right? So if we start on E, that's the relative minor, and we go down six, six, five, four, three, two, one. So that one, that G right there, is going to be the major for, for, for which E is the relative minor. And to prove that out, let's just, just, let's just figure out the notes. So in E, uh, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C, D, and E, and in G, G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, and G. So you see, it's the same notes, and that pretty much is uh, how you would describe what a relative minor is. It's the same notes starting on the six, but it has, of course, that cool minor sound to it. So that's an important thing to know, I guess, right? For, for me, it, make, it makes some sense to know that kind of stuff. Uh, you can play that E minor in the first position here if you want, like so. In the first position, so of course our first finger, first fret, second finger, second fret, third finger, third fret. So we would go E, F sharp, G, A, B, C, D, and E. And that's one octave right there. Do all that with your second and third fingers, no problem, right? Uh, e, F sharp, G, A, B, C, D, E. Now let's see if we can go up again. I gotta get an F sharp, so I'm gonna use my pinky finger on the fourth fret. E, F sharp, G, A, B, C, D, and E. So that's two octaves right there. And I can go up another one. E, F sharp, G, and then I would get my my A uh, by um, by extending my pinky finger to the fifth fret of the of the one string. So all of the E minor notes in the first position, and plus that one in the the fifth fret that would be new to do second position, right? All of those notes are like this. So there's your E minor for you. My favorite things, though, that's a little different. So my, uh, let's see, my favorite things uh, starts in E minor. So that first, uh, that first little uh, part of the melody, rain drops on roses. I'm going to do all that with open strings here. So the only ch uh, change that I have to make is the F sharp at the top, and I'll do, I'll use my pinky finger for that. Pretty straightforward. And now, for, this is magical if you ask me. I want to get to the C major seven, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm just take my third finger, put it on the third fret, and then uh, second finger still on this uh, second fret of the D string. So there's your E. So I'm going to use exactly the same uh, melody, right, with the with the C at the bottom. It sounds just lovely, and I hope I think that's what the intention was here, uh, but it sounds so nice. So the first little bit. Now to the A minor, and a D7, back to a G, and again, to follow this you have to look, you really have to look at the tabs, right? These are, now the F sharp, so everything is in the first position so far, but the F sharp minor go up to the fifth position. fifth position F sharp minor and then down to the second position for your B7. So that's quite nice. So I'll play that all, all the way together now.
next part is, uh, is actually a key change and it shifts to an E. It's an E to an E add nine. That's the same uh, F sharp that, that has like a, a different job, of course, in, in, in E than it does in, uh, in E minor. Uh, girls in white dresses with blue satin sashes, all from E in the first position. The only thing that I have to do is remember to get that uh, F sharp again. Add to an A. That's F sharp again in the key of A is actually a six. So it, it has, it's the same note with a different job, which is, again, uh, just astounds me. That's, that's like voice leading. A minor. Seven, G, spring, uh, spring is C, and now G, C, now you're F minor again. And now I'm going to play this uh, B uh, with, this, with a flat nine up on the, up on the uh, seventh fret, and now to the E minor at the fifth fret. Uh, at the seventh fret again. B7. Here's a good place to put a C scale in. Simply remember uh, to A minor to G favorite things and then I don't feel so bad. And then it simply repeats. That's it. Uh, if you're interested in this song, love to work with you. I do a half an hour uh, free lesson just to see if we're a good fit. And um, reach out. Let's uh, let's uh, let's get together.